yet relaxed enough to get it done. This game back with it, a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. yard line. So here are the Browns to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. They begin this drive with Chubb, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Brings up second and nine. They run it again with Chubb. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. He shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. Mayfield on first down. That's complete to Turner. A gain of six there on first. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Mayfield throwing complete there to Hooper. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 44-yard line. Mayfield finding Hooper there for a Cleveland first. On first and ten, Mayfield. And bringing it in right side here, Beckham. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Complete to Odell Beckham. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. He finds back and complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's now just three yards shy of 197 yards receiving on the contest and a first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because blitz and having the man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. On second and nine. Mayfield, and he's got it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Austin Hooper, his first touchdown on the year. And the Browns add six to their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That's good for 28 yards. 
And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. A lot of effort there for just a three-yard gain, and now second down. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 27-yard line. Got a man open, it's Ross. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the a loss of a yard. To the air again, Burrow. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. Third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And Burrow going to throw again. And that will be incomplete. Burrow's pass intended for Dalton Schultz. Incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Burrow. Points the target, and he has it over the middle. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a gain of 17 yards. And the Bengals. And we're back now here.